today I'm going to outline four powerful vegetables that are going to help you get rid of that eustachian tube dysfunction, TMJ, tinnitus, and patchless eustachian tube disorder. And we're going to jump in right now. Number one on our list is spinach. Spinach was a complete game changer in my quest to getting rid of this terrible condition. Spinach contains several important plant compounds. Specifically, it contains nitrates. Nitrates are important for healthy heart health, and that's going to help get that blood flow going, which is something I talk about constantly. Producing a good healthy blood flow and maintaining that blood flow is going to help areas that are not getting as much attention as needed to heal, specifically the ear section of our body. And that is why spinach is a game changer. Spinach contains something called quercetin, which is an antioxidant that's going to help you heal. And number two on our list is kale. Now, some of you might not believe this, but it wasn't until I was diagnosed with eustachian tube dysfunction and tinnitus and TMJ that I discovered kale. I would go into my local grocery store and pick up big bunches of kale and eat them every single week. And I noticed doing that, my breathing improved. My immune system was better. My outlook was better. It was helping me fight infections. It was helping me with all these conditions that I was dealing with. And I can tell you right now, kale really changed a lot of my life and it changed a lot of me having this condition. It deserves its own highlight as well as we both know that spinach and kale are considered superfoods. We do need to give kale its own attention. It contains higher amounts of vitamin K, vitamin C, iron, and it also contains something called flavonoids. Now, flavonoids are packed with anti-inflammatory properties. And when you're struggling with eustachian tube dysfunction, you need an anti-inflammatory diet. You need also something that's going to help boost your immune system. And doing these interchangeably is going to help you find improvement in your health. And number three on our list today are carrots. And carrots were a great additive to put into my diet. I would eat them sometimes by themselves, but what I would do is I would chop them up into little pieces. I would get some fresh organic carrots from the store and I would chop them up and put them into my kale and my spinach and I would get kind of like a double effect. And we know that carrots are very rich in vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. And what I always stress on is antioxidants and in order to keep your body going, your immune system is key in getting over these conditions. We know that if you're struggling with these four conditions, you're not getting enough sleep which is bringing your immune system down. You're not eating well, which is bringing your immune system down. And you need to get those vitamins and nutrients. So getting a fresh batch of carrots into your diet each and every single day, if you possibly can, will be even better. It's gonna have a better chance of you healing. It's gonna keep your blood pressure going and keep you at a good healthy level. So try your very best to eat carrots regularly and I noticed when I would do this regularly, I would start to feel so much better. And again, you can put this into your salad and get them that way as well. And number four on our list is celery. Now I have to tell you right now, celery is almost forgotten about by a lot of people out there. And I need to stress how important it is. It contains something that I've said many times already, and that's antioxidants, including flavonoids. The problem with this condition is we're not getting enough antioxidants into our diet, which is keeping us not healing at the rate that we want to as well as we're not boosting our immune system, so we're getting more problems in the process of trying to heal from what we already have. Celery is known to help us with our blood pressure, which is going to help with good circulation. Now, I identify four foods that are gonna help with increasing your immune system, increasing your antioxidant levels, as well as improving your blood pressure, and that is key to healing from these conditions. Alrighty, my wellness people, I hope this video was very helpful for you. Try your absolute best out of the four veggies that I named. Try to eat at least all four of them every single week. And if you cannot, at least two out of the four would be even more beneficial for you than zero. So I want you all to know that these are going to help you over time feeling better from these problems that we face here at the J Wellness Studio. It's not very complicated, but remember, we're always going to try to go back to the basics.